Good evening Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again back for your third and final video blog of the night for September 10, 2014 around 7.40 p.m. in Bellwick, Massachusetts. The sun's going down and it's going to be a little bit of a warm night. Tomorrow's going to be around 80 and very oppressive humidity. Maybe some severe thunder showers later on in the day. Some news to report. Chipotle's restaurant is coming to Bellwicker, Massachusetts at the Travel Cove Plaza and it's going to be taking the space from from the old Hollywood tans and that's good to have some of these empty vacancies at the plazas around town because that helps the tax revenue. I've heard some rumors going around that Bellwicker, the shops of Bellwicker might be getting a sit-down restaurant Mexican restaurant in between the yogurt place and party lab and I've also heard a chain uh, sit-down restaurant might be going into but might be going into that big space between Big Lots and Planet Fitness don't know what it is right now but that's just speculative but we'll wait and see how it plays out and also 28 more days before the NHL season can't wait and with today's loss to the Baltimore Orioles, the Boston Red Sox have been mathematically eliminated from the 2014 playoff for baseball. They will not be defending their World Series championships. This is the second year in a row that the defending World Series champions have not, not made the playoffs the next year so they, to defend their World Championship. And that's how about it on that. And my third and final video blog of the night is my personality profile blog. And this personality profile blog is about the late great game show host Jack Nas. Jack Nas was a game show host for over 20 years in the 50s through the 70s. He survived a scandal which could have destroyed his career around nine, in the late 50s with like fixing of game shows of one of the game shows he hosted. But he was found innocent of wrongdoing and that helped him out. Jack was born and grew up in Louisville, Kentucky and he was in the US Army Air Force during World War II. After serving our country in the war, Jack got a job as a flight instructor in an airport in California for two years. In the late 40s, Jack started his career as a radio announcer and television announcer for several radio stations and television stations in the Los Angeles area. Around 1951 or so, he was a, a narrator for the old, for the Adventures of Superman TV show on syndication. And he also was the announcer of the Space Patrol, first nationally run Space Patrol in the United States was a kid's show. In the mid 50s, Jack was the announcer and narrator for the classic TV sitcom Life with Elizabeth starring Betty White. And also he was an announcer for the game show Place to Face hosted by Bill Cullen. Jack Nas introduced Bill Cullen to his second wife and through the show and back because back then Jack's first wife Mary and Anne were sisters. Jack got his big break as a game show host in 1958 with Dato. He moved from Southern California to New York City where Dato was being produced. And Dato was a game show where you would answer questions and things would connect the dots to identify a famous person's drawing. Dato was a very big hit on CBS and NBC the daytime and nighttime version, it was number one game show on both daytime and nighttime for a while into August of 1958 where a scandal broke where one of the contestants saw like answers inadvertently uh, in the room and the show was quickly cancelled and also Jack Nodge had to, had to take a lie detector test to see if he knew the information that the game was being rigged and stuff and it turned out Jack was he did not know the game show was being rigged and that saved his career and also the producers of the Otto was going to have a, a singing career for Jack Nas as a poker singer 
and it was going to release the polka album around the fall time of 1958, but with the scandal breaking out, the production company um, held off the release of the polka album until later on in the year when the, all of the things died down, but when it released the polka album of Jack Nas songs, the record flopped big time, and that put a kaboosh on Jack Nas' singing career. And it's kind of disappointing for him because he probably would have made a lot more money as a singing career as a host. But those things happen. And afterwards, Jack continued hosting game shows like Top Dollar and the nighttime version of Price is Right on NBC Primetime. He was a guest host for about a couple of months when Bill Cullen took his vacation in 1960. And he also was the first host of Video Village on CBS for a few months. But... He had to stop hosting Video Village in CBS because his his marriage was failing and he eventually got a divorce and he moved back to Southern California and then he hosted the game show Seven Keys for ABC for about three years in daytime which eventually became went to local television in Los Angeles, California. Then he hosted I Bet and then for a few years he didn't even host game shows but that's when he met his second wife, Dolores, who was nick who's nicknamed Doe, and she worked for the as an <laughs> airline stewardess for TWA, and he and him and Dolores were married for over forty years. And in nineteen sixty nine, Jack returned to hosting game shows. He hosted the classic um, stunt game show produced by Mark Goodson. Bill Tom and Beat the Clock, which was being produced in the New York. Jack did not move back to New York, so he com he commuted from um, Southern California to New York for about a couple of years for every taping of Beat the Clock, and, and then he moved like he was commuting back and forth. In like 1971, the show moved productions to Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and Jack like did a the same thing. He commuted back and forth by airplane, and there was a, sto a story he was saying that he one time during a taping of Beat the Clock, he traveled from California, which in around December, and it was the hottest December on record in California at the time, and going to Montreal, and which was 50 below, and he packed for, he didn't have really on, on an overcoat, so he didn't even suffer pneumonia or get severely sick and that he said that was a shock to everybody's system that he that, that he didn't get any illness he stopped doing that um, in 1972 the next year Jack Nas hosted Concentration on Syndication by Marcus and Bill Tomlin who bought the rights to Concentration format from NBC and they showed it on syndication for about five years also, in April of 1974, Jack Nas hosted uh, Now You See It on CBS, which was a world word search game, and it lasted about 15 minutes for CBS and got canceled. And also around this time, Jack was starting to get tired of how the business was running for the game shows. He, he said in a book that he had some interviews with producers who were... Uh, had like torn jeans or sandals up on their desk and he just didn't like the way the business was changing and stuff. And after um, Concentration ended its run in 1978, Jack Nas never hosted another game show, but he was still like part of game shows as an, an announcer for, and he was an announcer for a few of them, like the all new All Star Beat the Clock on CBS, he was an announcer and associate producer for about four months of that show in between 1979 and 1980. But he did not like the format of the show, nor did the host, Monty Hall, which they were glad to see that format cease to lap that beat the clock and be successful in 19 during that time frame. Also, he was a substitute host for Card Sharks around the spring of 1981. And Jack's last major appearance on a game show was back in like the spring of 1982 on Password Plus because 
his younger brother, Tom Kennedy, was host of Passport Plus, and he was a celebrity panelist for a week. And one, one, one of the sh shows, Jack actually guest hosted Password Plus, and Tom Kennedy played it. it was pretty interesting. For the remainder of Jack Nas' life, he was a chat. He was a celebrity golf player in so many charity tournaments and stuff. He also appeared in like some game show specials about about the history of game shows. He appeared on like. Game Show Network back in 1995 talking about how he was hosting it and he was also made an appearance in the 2008 Pioneers of Television for like the late night talk show host talking about a segment with Johnny Carson and stuff and also about game shows. Jack Nas passed away in October of 2008 after suffering a series of strokes. He was 80 five years old and he was probably like an underrated game show host and he probably was you know probably in the top 15% of game show host of all time and he 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 was the one who survived these scandals of the game show scandals in 19 in the late 1950s and thrived at the game show host. Many other game show hosts and producers who fixed game shows, many of their careers were destroyed and ruined, but Jack survived because he did not know, he did. He was honest and he didn't even know they were fixed, which is, he's, it's good. He, he didn't know it was fixed. It saved his career, but he, but like I said, he, he could have had a bigger career singing, but those things happen. And that's about it for that. I like doing these video blogs for the people on Facebook and YouTube. I enjoy them. I'll be back tomorrow for three to six more video blogs. And don't forget, coming soon, about three weeks, is my 2014-2015 NHL blog preview of I'm going to tell you who's going to make the playoffs, who's not, who's going to win the awards, and who's going to win Stanley Cup. Also, there's definitely going to be the uh, 10 greatest Hooter Girls of Boston of all time video blog. That I don't know when that's going to be. There's going to be more personalities, profiles, and other stuff. And, of course, if, I, if you want a shout-out, just PM me, and I will shout it out. Good night, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Bye now.